Are you sick of the same old spawning routine? What if there was a mod that changed all of that? Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back, and I hope you guys had a fantastic holiday. I took two days off to just enjoy the holidays and just, you know, take in the Christmas vibes. But now we are back, and it is snowing in Big City, thanks to, of course, a certain mod that allows snow to appear on any map you want. But we're not here to talk about snow, we're here to talk about three mods that are going to enhance your respawning experience, and guess what, they are all related to Call of Duty, so if you played the new Modern Warfare, or of course, you know, the 2019 version, that is exactly what this is from. First things first, we're going to talk about the van infiltration. So this is what happens, I believe, at the beginning of multiplayer matches. You kind of have this cool, like, van sequence that plays out. Well, what if you could make your own sequence just like that in Gary's Mod? And of course, thankfully, with these settings here, we have a bunch of options to adjust. So first things first, you can choose which song will play. We have the Juggernaut, and we also have the the juggernaut you choose to enable or randomize the music we're going to keep it the way it is but we want to focus on the vehicle portion this is where you can choose the model of the chief the model of the driver and of course your buddies now what better buddy to have than odessa himself and then we could choose exactly how many will be in the vehicle we can fill the vehicle have none only one or half the seats we're going to go with fill and then you can choose to remove the weapons or just do a random seat. Basically, a bunch of really cool things. And then some admin functions here. Once you have that set, go ahead and place down your flare, which we already did. You're going to see a silhouette of the truck. And then when you're ready, go ahead and respond. And then the magic plays out right in front of you. You can see we have Odessa. We're just hanging out in the seat. A bunch of really cool automated animations here. You can see everyone's going to slowly huddle out. We're going to make our way. You can see my character is like, all right, get it done. And then <laughs> goes back in the truck. All right, I don't know why I'm calling that a truck. It's a goddamn van. Um, The point is, you guys get the gist of it. And then we have our homies here, which, by the way, they'll just act like regular NPCs. In fact, they should even be following me. What's wrong, Odessa? Jack Frost got your nips? So they usually do follow me, but for some weird reason, they're just sitting there unless I... Yeah, I don't know, Odessa's just being weird. But the funny thing is, is the van's not going anywhere. It's just going to hang out. Going inside of it, we can see... Um... My character is nowhere to be found. Driver, though. Dr. Breen. Oh my god. I think it's safe to say the holiday spirit's a little too much for good old Breen. Now, of course, what happens when you die again after you've already set the van down? Well, as you'd expect, you have to reset the van. But that's obviously no problem. We can just set it again, and we're going to go with a different model here. Let's go with, um, you know, let's go G-Man. All right, once everything's set, go ahead and place down your flare, and then either die or respawn. We're just going to die to show you that it does work. And here we go, G-Man is, well, the man. You can see now we actually got some real men with real guns in this van. And we are ready to take on the world. Now, what happens when we have a hostile alliance? Well, unfortunately, even though we were buddy-buddy in the van, they're not going to be our friends now. But maybe you want to drop down to the map in style, and that is where this comes in. And this is actually, funny thing, the original x mod. It's just that the van was kind of like a remixed version of it. Now, unfortunately, there are not settings you can change with this in the options menu. However, there are a few commands you can use, but none of that's important because I think you guys are going to like the original result. We're going to go ahead and kill ourselves and then respawn and watch as the magic happens. Now, some of you guys might remember this mod because yes we did do a video on this before but i had to include it because it fits so well with the other two mods and look how awesome that is but that is not where it ends once you are dropped down the helicopter will now fly off into the distance with immense realism and immaculate detail and of course that includes phasing through buildings but maybe you're not a big fan of helicopters maybe you're more of a plane guy well <laughs> boy do i have the best mod for you. Going into options here, we can go down to Call of Duty Warzone, click on MISC, and then we have a bunch of cool things here, which we don't really need to touch. Everything already looks great. Wait, G-Disaster. Okay, so this works with G-Disaster. That's very good to know. Now, by the way, guys, it's important to note that before we go on, 
you need to have an HDR enabled map. Now of course that doesn't only mean turning on HDR in your settings which is in video advanced right here, but instead it also means that the map has to have HDR built into it and well Big City by default does not have that, but someone did upload a version of Big City with HDR because well the community in Gary's Mod is just amazing, so it's going to work with this. So. First things first, we're going to ignore all these settings, you know, you can definitely mess with these, of course, a ton of great options here. We're going to go ahead and just launch the menu. And here we go. So first things first, you can choose your slots, obviously we're solo. Now you do have a few options, one you have the night version and we have the day version. We're going to go with day and we're going to click this. And just like that, it's going to play pretty much the Warzone intro. And not only that though, of course, it recreates the entire scene in-game. Oh my god, it's even got like blur and everything? Ah, oh, this looks so <laughs> awkward next to a combine soldier. But that's not even it! We get the actual realized intro to Warzone. We even have like an altimeter, which uh, also has a speed gauge next to it. And we can choose to jump out at any point. <laughs> this is so bizarre in Gary's Mod. We're ready now though, so we're gonna go ahead and jump. And yes, that's right. There's even a recreated skydiving mode. And then you can of course deploy your parachute, which also has its own view models and everything. It, it all just works so good together. And then once you land, you can see your plane fly off into the distance. I'm not gonna lie, this really did blow my mind like when I first tried this out. But what if you don't want to land there? What if you want to control exactly where your plane goes? Well, simply click on plane editor and now we are in biz. So you can pretty much choose the altitude and also the direction that the plane is going to be going in. We have all the controls over there, pressing reloads, going to rotate 90 degrees. And then we can also choose the cutscene position and we can also set the flight path. We're going to make it, well, pretty much not go over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. This is the day I get cancelled. We're gonna go ahead and just set the flight path. Um, I, I think we're good. Yes, we, we are good. And then once you are set, um, obviously doing it like that, we are now going to launch and we're gonna try the night version. And here we go. So not only do we get a different cutscene at the beginning, it, it even has the latency up there in the top left corner. That is so funny. Alright, Chief, let's do this. Oh man, this just looks so awesome. The music is hype as hell. The blur looks so good. And we even get this. So unfortunately, it, it doesn't actually <laughs> change the map, of course. But we can now jump out at any time. And we can fly to our heart's content. We're going to go ahead and activate the parachute here to see how this works. So you can see with that meter to the right, our altitude. And it's obviously, you know, slowly dropping. But we can also choose to cut the parachute and then redeploy it, and then cut it, and then redeploy it, because we can just keep pulling them out of our ass, because it's Call of Duty. But overall, a really, really, really cool set of mods, guys. Let me know what you thought down below. This was a three awesome mods, by the way. I hope you guys had a fantastic Christmas and or holidays, whichever one you celebrate. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, farewell.